one of the most important thing to note that um, UV doesn't cause heat. Okay. So uh, UV is something that you feel onto your skin sometimes yeah, when yeah. it singes, yeah? yeah. But the one that causes heat is infrared. Hey guys, welcome back to the Piston Show. I'm Cashy Dillon and I have Darren Chang from Auto Detailer Bataling Jaya with me. Probably the most eminent detailer in Malaysia at the moment. So uh, in today's episode, we want to speak about window tint, which is I think a very important yes, uh, subject in Malaysia, not only because it's controversial in the eyes of the law, but it's also very important because of our weather heat. here <laughs> in Malaysia. So, what do you think, Darren? Because, you know, sometimes you're driving through the kampongs in Terengganu and they're saying, oh, 20 ringgit window tint, 20 ringgit window tints and such. Where else, if you come to KL, there are window tints that can go into the tens of thousands. So, what are, you, what are your thoughts on this? And it's, yeah, between more expensive and cheaper tints. I've, I've cycled to the kampongs, uh, you know, during my weekly rides. And yeah, I've seen it, uh, 180 ringgit for four windows. So, I'm usually quite amazed at how it's done. <laughs> Uh, but that aside, I think window tints are an important aspect for driving in our tropical weather. Yeah. We cannot do without it. Uh, the damage that we've seen on cars without it, not just to the owner, but uh, to the interiors, uh, is quite significant. Okay. So comfort, I think, is an important thing in our aspect because we're tropical all year round. Yeah. And uh, there are many different types of window tints that you could look at. Uh, but we usually like to look into the details and the specifications of each of them. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there are some that say that they keep the interior cool, they keep UV, they bounce off UV rays and all of this. Does that actually work? Okay, so um, you have many different wavelengths uh, in terms of uh, what causes uh, heat into a car. Right. So for us, uh, being in an industry, uh, the general one that we're looking at is uh, TSER. This is a rating that's not used by many manufacturers, uh, okay. not many uh, locations selling tin, we'll talk about it, but it basically states total solar energy rejection. Okay. So it's a combination of uh, the different types of uh, readings that you will get. Right. Now, um, one of the most important thing to note that um, UV doesn't cause heat. Okay. So uh, UV is something that you feel onto your skin sometimes yeah, when yeah. it singes, yeah? yeah. But the one that causes heat is infrared right. radiation. Yeah, yeah. So uh, understanding the differences between the wavelengths as well okay. will give you a better understanding on what products work best. Okay. Because when you look at most of the ads that come out, and there's a lot of hype built into this thing as well, you're looking at everything at a 99%, 95%. Yeah, it is 95% or 99% yeah. because it blocks UV. UV. Yeah. But does it uh, stop heat? Yeah. Uh, that's a whole different thing altogether. Right, right. So Hey guys, we would just like to take a couple of seconds to tell you about BH Petrol's Infinity RON95 Euro 4M. Now this is unlike any other petrol out there because it features advanced German additives. What these additives do is that they go into your engine, they clean out all the deposits that have formed inside your engine from years before. And if you continue using Infinity RON95 Euro 4M from BH Petrol, you're basically ensuring that your engine continuously runs clean. But not only that, BH Petrol's RON95 Euro 4M also features 90% reduced sulfur. That's a 90% reduction in sulfur, guys. That is not only great for your engine, but it's wonderful for the environment. So the next time you pour it BH Petrol, know that you're making the right choice. What, so in terms of rejecting heat, what our viewers should be looking at is infrared rejection infrared rather rejection. than UV rejection. Yes, and also uh, the numbers from the total solar energy rejection. Right. Yeah, that TSER. gives you TSER and that right. gives you the industry standard. Okay. Yeah. Not every tint uh, has very high TSER ratings. And that's the reason why you can actually differentiate between high quality tints and uh, lower quality ones. What's the average? Uh, um, for TSERs. Okay, uh, TSERs, a lot of the tints in Malaysia, they they range in the 30s to 40s okay. to 50s, percent. in fact, uh, in terms of percent, yes. Yeah. And uh, some up to uh, 60s as well. Yeah. Uh, very few of them go exceeding that. Uh, we actually have ranges of our tints that are up to 80 over percent. Yeah. 
So uh, they're premium for a reason, yeah. but the heat rejection uh, is quite significant. Right. So TSCR is one proper measure. Okay. I guess the other part that uh, would probably be of interest is to understand actually with so many tins around, yeah. what are the different types of tins that are available uh, in our country here? Okay. And uh, you could actually put them down to uh, three main ones. One is dyed tints. So dyed tints are the ones where you pay a very small fee for them. Yeah. They are mostly the budget tints and okay. that's why you just pay a few hundred ringgit for them because yeah. they're essentially what we call colored tints. Colored, okay. So there's no yeah. heat rejection. It just makes it look dark, yeah? yeah? yeah, yeah. Um, and then the next one would be metallized. Right. So metallized ones are, are, are a lot of the popular brands. Right. Although it's a very traditional technology that's been here for more than a decade already. Yeah. And then uh, there's also uh, the ones that are using ceramics okay yeah so these are the three most popular ones yeah. that are available yeah. in the market so in terms of uh safety tints can we get the for me this is the ideal tint that is really good with tser ratings ultimate uh, uv uh, rejection ultimate infrared injection rejection but also safety tints. so you know i can leave my laptop on the chair and not worry about being stolen i might have to replace my window but is there that holy grail of window tints out there? Um, short answer? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it's sort of like asking if you could have a Porsche that drives as well on track yeah. and at the same time can fit the family of four. Yeah. So it's sort of that argument. So basically, um, outside of Malaysia, uh, security tints aren't of a huge demand. Yeah. It's, it's mostly in this part of Southeast Asia, specifically Malaysia, where there's a there's some requests for uh, security tins. Now, security tins, they offer a higher density yeah. material um, versus um, performance tins where they are focused on rejecting heat. Right. Yeah. Uh, once you mix the two, you get one that has a thicker uh, uh, material that helps to give a bit more added safety. When I say a bit, I'll qualify that in a, in a minute. Yeah. Uh, but you lose out in terms of the actual heat rejection. Right, right. So, yeah. okay. so it's a, in, in a sense, it's going to be compromised in different ways to give you that product. Right. Now, let me ask you the first simple question. Where is the tint installed on the car? The, on the inside. On the inside. So when somebody takes a hammer or a steering uh, wheel lock or maybe uh, what's popularly known with the uh, uh, spark plugs, right? Yeah, and they impact it, where does it hit? Is it the glass or the tint? Oh, the glass. The glass. Right. And what happens when a hot material hits a glass immediately? What happens when a hot material? A hard material. Hard material. High shatters. density material. Shatters. It shatters. Yeah. Right. So uh, then the argument uh, begs to be asked, uh, or the question begs to be asked: um, How does the security laminate stop that from happening? Holds it all together. I guess. It holds it all together, just like a regular tin would. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And in terms of the density of the material, it's perhaps two hundred percent thicker. Right. But the moment you shatter it. You just need to push the glass in yeah. and it falls through. Right. So the idea of actually a security tint does have its limitation there. Because uh, what it alludes to a lot of times is things like bulletproof glass, yeah. where there's a different density and it's made to be a lot more denser right. uh, and, and offer better protection. But in terms of impact, the moment you shatter the glass, the glass integrity is completely compromised oh, yeah. with or without your security laminate. Right, right, right. As long as you have a tint, even a basic uh, dyed colored one, okay. it will hold it somewhat yeah. and you can push it so down. Push it uh, you just have a thicker one yeah. for the security laminate, That's but it. it's not going to stop the glass from yeah. being damaged. Going through, through. Yes. What about these things called ceramic tinting? That's okay. this entire marketing ploy. Yes. Or yeah. I'm not, not sure whether it's actually true yes. or what, but I do read it at places. Yes. What, what is this? We've uh, tested a lot of these products. We've used them over the years as well. So the the first one we'll just put out the topic first is dyed tints. Dyed tints are colored tints. Yeah. So they offer... How do you pronounce this? D-Y-E-D? D-Y-E-D. So D -Y -E -D. it's just, just colored D -Y -E -D. paper. D-Y-E-D. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like your Tang Long yeah. lanterns. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. It's just yeah. dark, but it has no heat rejection because there's dye. no technology. So it's just 
colored film. Right. So that's oh. the ones that you get very cheap. Okay. Uh, and uh, it does nothing more than just make the car look darker. And over the years, it just fade away. Uh, yeah. It'll turn you, color. Yeah, In fact, see. because it's a budget yeah. uh, a film as well, uh, you'll see the adhesive starts to bubble out yeah, and cause yeah. issues. So let's put that aside. Yeah. That is not usually in the not discussion. Right yeah. uh, we will talk then about the two more popular ones, which is uh, metallics yeah. and uh, ceramics. Yeah. yeah. So metallic uh, tints are something that is very common used. Uh, you'll find companies like 3M using yeah. them. Uh, most companies are using them. Be cool. Uh, but metallics um, have one part uh, where it's uh, it causes a disadvantage to the user. Uh, it works in terms of uh, heat rejection to an extent, but it also blocks signals. Right. Because there are metallic smart particles. Tech. Yeah, it's smart text is one thing because smart tech uses a, a, an old uh, infrared transmission system. Yeah. Yeah. But you also notice in a lot of cars that sometimes your phone transmission tends to drop a fair bit because um, all your windows. Yeah essentially have metal particles in them Very, yeah, and they're yeah. bouncing it back at you so, rather than letting it go okay, through. Okay. So metallics do cause that issue. Okay. Uh, and for ceramics, ceramics are the newer generation uh, compared to, to metallics, but um, that was probably a decade ago as well. Yeah. Uh, they're improved versions of it, uh, but it also has certain limitations. Okay. Yeah. And there are also tints that they call photochromatic, yeah. where it sort of darkens, uh, yeah. uh, you know, in terms of uh, uh, light passing through. Yeah. When there's, there's a lot of sun, it starts to get a little bit darker by 10-15%. Yeah. Um, my question is, a lot of the products that you see in the market, after the first year or two, when you do actual tests on the car, you'll notice a drop in performance already. Yeah. So in a tropical weather, not many of the products do last very long. Okay. Yeah. So that's the aspect of the difference between metallics or ceramics. Yeah. Is it advisable to change your tint every couple of years? You actually don't need to if you invest in a good, good tint. Ones, yeah. uh, we carry tints as well, yeah. and uh, some of the tints we carry, you'll be using them till the time you sell the car. Right. Uh, in fact, till after the, you sell, the next owner will use them. So again, understanding what the products do and what are the differences in the technology and the materials will help you make a better decision in right. terms of. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you heard it from Darren here at Auto Detailer PJ. Do check them out on social media, online at Google. Thank you for watching. I'm Keshi Dillon. As usual, do consider subscribing.